Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's April, but we're still going over this March box from Sketchbox, so let's get started. The first items I'm pulling out are the menu card with a listing of March's supplies and a postcard featuring artwork from mixed media artist Paulette Joe. Moving on to the actual supplies, here is an extra large kneaded eraser by Faber Castell. Instead of receiving a sticker for the month of March, we have a magnet celebrating Sketchbox's seven year anniversary. Very cool. We have a Sketchbox signature quarter inch chisel tip brush it's described as dynamic for building colors and distinct shapes. Next, we have our Kawai Nor Witless Graphite 4-piece set. The pencils in this set include HB, 2B, 4B, and 6B. Here is a loose pastel pencil from Faber-Castell in the color cream. And here is another pencil by Faber-Castell, but this one is charcoal. Inside this cute little box is a set of Derwent tinted charcoal pans. The colors we have are white, dark moss, thistle glowing embers, burnt embers, and mountain blue. Last but not least, for our surface we have a custom Arnhem 1618 pad. It's 4 by 6 inches and contains 12 bright white cotton sheets. Well, that was everything in the box. So let's get started experimenting. I already own one of these kneaded erasers. They're pretty cool. And right now this new one I have is very soft and doughy, but over time it'll become a little firm. It'll darken from the graphite. Plus it'll pick up lint and cat hair, but it will still work. It's, it's a really good eraser. This cream or yellow colored pastel pencil, it's okay. It's actually chalk, it's not a pastel colored pencil. In one of my previous videos, someone commented that pastels are compressed powders or pigments. So that's what this pencil is. It's compressed powder, chalk, or pastel. It's the same thing. And I don't think there's really anything special about this pencil. Maybe if it were in a set with other colors, I'd feel differently about it, maybe. The pencil I'm sharpening right now is the charcoal pencil, and it was a huge disappointment. I used four different pencil sharpeners, and I still couldn't get a point on this pencil. And the pencil just kept getting smaller and smaller, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to use the charcoal pencil. So now I'm swatching with the Kawainor pencils, and here's something I learned about Kawainor. I went on Google and learned that Kawainor is Persian for Mountain of Light, and that it's the name of the world's largest cut diamond. But anyway, when I decided to take art seriously some years ago, I primarily used pencil, and I wanted to use other mediums like paint and paint and color, but you know, I was afraid at the time, but that's another story for another video. But anyway, I used to work primarily with pencil and I learned that H lit is hard and B lit, which I have here is softer. And as you can see, as the numbers go up from 2B to 6B, the lit becomes softer and darker. And I used to like working with 6B and 8B lit because I could use them for my darkest areas. And I used to draw with charcoal, but I found it too messy. But these Willis pencils are pretty decent and I didn't even get graphite all over my hands. And speaking of pencils, I don't understand why we weren't given a pencil sharpener with all of these pencils. Okay, let's move on to this charcoal pan set. I have never heard of charcoal pans, but I'm using them for the very first time and I'm using them like they're watercolors, but they don't act like watercolors. The colors are mm, kind of neutral and they're very pigmented, but they're very pretty colors and my favorite one is the Mountain Blue. 
Right now I'm working on some small drawings using the Arnhem pad and the paper in this pad seems to hold up very well to water. But yeah, I'm drawing a rhinoceros skull and I used a yellow pastel pencil to sketch out the guidelines and then I used those guidelines to draw out the actual skull. And I used the reddish colored charcoal pen to add warmth and then I used the 6B to deepen the shadows. And I was going to do cross hatching at first, but decided to blend the graphite. And I used the tortillon to do that. And now I'm wondering why there weren't any tortillons added to this box. Okay, so let's move on to the next drawing. I'm drawing the plague doctor. And in case you're wondering, I'm not using the chisel tip brush because I found it very awkward to use. So I used this number six round brush. And for this painting, I'm adding many layers of the blue charcoal to make it more intense. And just like I did before, I used 6B um, to deepen the shadows and I used um, the HB or 2B for details. So, what did I think of the March box? Well, it was alright. It wasn't the best box, but it wasn't that bad. The charcoal pans were okay. I'm just not sure if I'll use them again because they're not really my thing. And the pastel pencil and the eraser were okay. And the charcoal pencil was a dud. And I already said the woodless pencil set was decent. But what did you guys think of the March box? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, you guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you check out my other videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!